Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this uh, Wilco Cold and Dark tutorial. We're currently in the Airbus, uh, the Wilco Airbus A320. Uh, it's a series of aircraft which include the A318, A319, A320 and A321. So currently we're here in the 320 at Newcastle Airport. Take you on an outside view, this is our aircraft and uh, we will be just about getting ready in a few moments to uh, get set up for our flight down to Gatwick. Currently at stand 5 and uh, yeah not looking too bad to be honest. So we're just going to go it back into the cockpit and uh, begin our setup. So here we go. Okay, so we are in the cockpit at the moment. What we're going to proceed to do is we're going to go and turn on our batteries. We'll turn on battery 1 first, and battery 2. As you can see, I had producing 27.9 volts and 26.7, so we got plenty uh, of power in them. Next, we'll proceed to fire up our APU. We, we, we will Sorry, I don't know why I even touched the strobes. <laughs> anyway, we will commence with our on switch and uh, fire it up. And we'll wait until the APU has kicked in. Okay, then there we go, and that's all systems on. We'll now flick the nav lights on to indicate that we are in the cockpit. We'll hit the APU bleed switch. We'll just check these faults. These faults uh, are fine. Generator's one, generator two is on, so that's okay. And uh, next, as you can see, uh, we now need to get the aircraft uh, set up. Uh, we have got 6.4 tons of fuel on board. This is indicated uh, in pounds. Uh, I'm still trying to work out how you change that, but anyway, it, we've got £14,080 on board, well, 6.4 tonnes. We'll just change our frequency to a uh, Unicom, onto 122.80, and we'll switch that across. And now we'll commence uh, our setup. Just so it's easier for you to see, I will uh, bring the FMC up. Okay, so this is just some information about our aircraft. We're using the A320 211 CFM 56 engines. Our air rack is currently out of date. I think we're on to 1404 at the moment, so I do need to update th that at some point. But I'm currently using air rack 1403. We don't have a second database, and that is ultimately all correct. We'll now proceed to our init page, and we are going from Echo Golf November Tango to Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, and we'll enter that into there. There isn't a loaded flight plan, so we return to the page. Our alternate day is going to be South End Airport, as I'm quite familiar with it, so we'll go there. We'll set our iris in line, and as you see, across on our upper ECAM, on our upper ECAM, it says that our iris is in alignment, and that'll be done in 5 to 4 minutes. So that's currently being aligned. Next, we'll go back to our init page. Our call sign is Easy 47 Charlie Foxtrot. So Easy 47 Charlie Foxtrot. Cost index will be 25 as is already indicated. Our cruise level is going to be flight level 270. Next we'll go to our init page. We'll click this and this will give us our weight. We'll give our block fuel, which will be 14.1. Well, it's actually indicated in pounds, although we would be using tons, which would be 6.4. We will enter that. That's our fuel set. We'll enter 0.2 for our final time. And we'll proceed to our perf page. Transition altitude is 6,000 feet for Newcastle. Our V1 speed will be 142. VR 146 and V2 158. Next we'll set our flaps which will be uh, 2 and we'll put uh, 5 of trim 
up. Next we'll change our takeoff flex to 15 for this departure and we'll need 350 meters of takeoff for just in case we need to do a rejected takeoff. That's our takeoff ultimately complete for that. We'll then proceed to our flight plan page. Now, some people have said to me that the problem is is that when on a normal Airbus X or black box or whatever you use, when you depart, uh, usually you get an instructions, for example, climb straight ahead 3.5 DME, and in the Airbus X, this is shown in a straight line and then to your next waypoint. Many don't understand why this doesn't work in this, and it's a simple thing of making sure you have no transitions. So what we'll do is we'll look on IFS in. The current weather is 070 degrees 09 knots. The active runway at Newcastle is runway 07. We'll click on runway 07. And now, this is why it isn't displayed. Many people leave this page and press insert. All you'd press is no SID and it enters the straight head to whatever is 3.5, 1.5 DME, whatever. Then you press insert. And that will be 1763 which will be your straight ahead climb to, and then to your next waypoint. Next we'll hit our flight plan page. Uh, we don't need to go to Nateb because Nateb is basically Newcastle. We are going to go on the PARP 18 to Gasco. Now, I'm not sure if this will work but we'll give it a go. Uh, sometimes I have to just go direct to Gasco as it just says it's an invalid entry. And it does. So what we'll do is instead we'll just go direct to Gasco for this one. Next, after Gasco, we'll go on the Papa 16 Airway to Croft. We'll enter that there. Insert. Then we'll go Croft direct to Kepard. Next waypoint, insert. Kepard, Lima 151 Airway to Kidley and then our star will begin from there. Insert that. We check the weather for down Gatwick. The wind's 220 so we should in... We're, we'll be anticipating ILS 26 left. And we should be expecting the Willow 3 Bravo arrival. And we'll insert that. clear the discontinuity. Now as you see the local time is 2.49 which it is. Estimated time is uh, 1 hour and 2 minutes with a distance of 3.37. Estimated fuel on board is 10.6 tonnes. Right that's all done. So that is our flight plan all set up. What we can now do is we can now view our flight plan. We'll just cross this off. If we go at the very top of our flight plan, back to our the beginning, we'll just change our mode to configuration. We'll just have a look and make sure everything is okay. We'll just move down the list of waypoints. So that will be Gasco once uh, we go. Ribble, Croft, we'll just change the range of that and just increase that uh, slightly. And we'll just continue all the way down. Kepard, Telva, Vidoc, Disick, Kidley, then on to the Star, cross to Holly, cross to Willow, <coughs> and then in for ILS 26 left. That's all good. Okay, that is ultimately everything configured. This is, uh, we've got our weight and everything sorted, so we're all good for that. Uh, everything seems all set up and that is how you configure the FMA FMC of the Wilco Airbus A320. I hope this has been of help to you and I hope to give you a few more tutorials on how to fly the Wilco A320 in due course. Thanks for watching, have a good day, bye bye.